Hello my friends and welcome to another quick tip tutorial video. Today I'm gonna show you how to add and remove tracks from the Adobe Premiere timeline. I already have one project started over here and as you can see I have only one video track and one audio track and there's also one master track as well. Today I will share with you how you can add and delete tracks using different ways. And before we start, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you like this video and it was helpful for you, please give it a like. And without further ado, let's go get started. Okay, so as you can see, I only have one video track and one audio track and one master track on this timeline at this moment. But what if I need to add few more tracks on this timeline. There's a few options you have in Adobe Premiere Pro. There's always few options you can use. I will show you all these options and you can pick whichever you like the most and then you can just use it in the future to make your workflow a lot faster and more pleasant. So the first way to start a new track, you can just go ahead and drop another file on the timeline. If you drop in a video file or still image, you have to drop it on the video track just like here and it will automatically create another track on this timeline. You can do it multiple times and it's gonna create more and more tracks. This is one way of doing it and same thing applies for the audio tracks. I have added a few audio files with music so if I go ahead and throw it on the audio track it will automatically create another audio track here and I can do it as many times as I want. Let's just go ahead and rewind it. There we go, we're back to the same stage as we had before. We have only one track. The second method, you just need to go ahead and click either on video or audio track, just right click and then just click add tracks. And in this pop-up window, it's giving you a lot of options you can work with. And this is real handy if you need to add multiple tracks because here you can just set how many tracks you wanna add. So for example, I need to add five video tracks three audio tracks and in this menu you can also add audio submix tracks but this is more advanced features and if you don't know what submix tracks are I'm gonna make another video about it as well but we're not gonna be talking about in this video we're just gonna skip it for now we're just gonna put zero let's go ahead and click OK and as you can see look at that let's go ahead and just make it a little bit bigger so we can see how many tracks we got added there we go so I added five more video tracks and I added three more audio tracks. Similar way you can just delete all tracks that you don't use. You just gotta right click again and then instead of add tracks you just press delete tracks and here you can choose how many tracks you want to delete. You can choose either delete video tracks or audio tracks or both and then here you can choose which track you want to delete or if you want to delete all empty tracks. I think this is the most common use for this feature because you just want to get rid of all empty tracks so your timeline looks more neat and it doesn't have those empty tracks that you don't really need. So let's go ahead and try it out right now. Just gonna click OK and there we go. We're back to the same state we had before. We only have the tracks that we actually use on this timeline. And you can bring the same window if you go to the sequence and at the very bottom there's add tracks and delete tracks. These are gonna bring the same window as we had before. And of course you can delete all these tracks just by going one by one, click on the track that you want to delete and then just press delete and it's going to remove one track at a time. So this is good if you need to delete only one track, but if you have multiple tracks, this is not the best way to do it. I just prefer going to delete tracks and then just delete all empty tracks and there we go. So this this that simple. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the next one. The next method is really convenient when you're working on the timeline and you want to create more than just one track real quick without having actually put in files on the timeline like I showed you in the first method. And this method I probably use the most just like the first method. I use this one if I need to create more than just one track. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, let's say we're working on this project and we have one video track and then we have one still picture that doesn't move and we have one audio track. So right now we have three tracks and if I want to create more video tracks, all you need to do is just highlight this track right here. You got to hold Alt, press up and then press down. There we go. So right now we created another track there and just like that you can go ahead and do as many tracks as you want. So just press Alt and go up one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So right now we created five more tracks in less than 10 seconds. You can do the same thing with this audio track. Just press Alt and go down. 
as many times as you need and now we created a whole bunch of audio tracks. I find this really works great when you need to quickly create an extra track, let's say for your adjustment layer or for another still. And I think this is probably the quickest way you can do this. Just gotta highlight it, press Alt and go up and down and that's it, it's all done. So this is the fourth method. I hope you guys like this. If you do, please let me know in the comment section below and also give it a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna have more helpful Adobe Premiere Pro videos coming out soon, so make sure you don't miss them. Hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.